Hey there guys, so we're back with another video. Um, hold on. Before we get into it, I want to show something. So this is a uh, new shirt I got. Brat by Charlie XCX, one of my favorite albums of the year. Kind of felt like I had to get the little thing for it. And then also this just came in the mail, so you guys are really kind of sick of it, but I saw this shirt and thought it looked really cool. With Alistair, my favorite Aslan character. I thought it looked really cool. I had to get it. Yep, like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Now, let's get into some more serious stuff. So, this is the new Godspeed You Blank Emperor album, and it is called <clears throat> No Title. As of 13th of February, 2024, 28,340 dead. Um, now, what um, that number is referencing is the amount of Palestinians killed by Israel on that day. Um, now it's around 40,000 civilians killed. Now, uh, I don't know if this is probably an unpopular subject. I feel like I might, I hope I don't lose subscribers on, I don't know, whatever the end people fall on. So I originally, when the Israel-Hamas war first started, I supported Israel because Hamas, which isn't a good group, people definitely shouldn't support Hamas they're an evil group, and they're, they're just not good. They're not good. I stand with Palestine. I want Palestine to be its own independent nation, um, but Hamas is not good. So when Hamas attacked Israel, I went on the side of Israel, and I saw a lot of people supporting Palestine. And I, with the Russia-Ukraine war, I kind of knew it was obvious Russia's the bad guy in this. It's very obvious. Um, so I supported Ukraine, and I supported Israel because Israel was invaded. But then... What Israel has done, which appears to be an act of revenge, killing innocent civilians, women and children, journalists. It's basically a genocide. It's wrong, and I can't support that anymore. I never did. I never supported genocide. I'm saying I can't support Israel anymore because of that. Um, so here's one thing I think people under need to understand. We do not support Hamas. We don't support what Israel is doing. We don't support Russia. We don't support Syria. We don't support China. We don't support Iran. You know, we don't support any of that. We don't support North Korea. We don't support Belarus. We don't support any of that stuff. You know, just uh, really not good. You know, you know, Venezuela, you know, all that stuff. We don't support any of that stuff. <clears throat> so, um, what I got here? the flag of Palestine I got. I got this um, later on when I kind of, and uh, I don't know if you guys have seen any of my videos. I already have this. Obviously I support Ukraine. The Russia-Ukraine war, I obviously support Ukraine. And then I have this just in case something really, really bad happens. I also support Taiwan. If China tries to use any aggression towards Taiwan, that wouldn't be right. Mm -hmm. I see Taiwan as an independent nation, I sure do. So, Anyways, this is instrumental, but it's political, and it's a protest album. This isn't the first time they've talked about Palestine. They also talked about it um, when Fatah was kind of the governing thing of the Gaza Strip. Right now, it's only in the West Bank. So West Bank's government is a left-wing group called Fatah, and in the Gaza Strip, it's a right-wing group, which is Hamas. Um, they're very different, so like in the Gaza Strip, Stuff like same-sex marriage is banned, and in the West Bank, it's it's legal. Like, not same-sex marriage, same-sex activity is illegal in Gaza. It's legal in the West Bank. You know, obviously they need to be free from both Israel and Hamas. You know what I mean? Yeah. And there's little helicopters, which seems kind of fitting for the topic at hand. Their music has always been political. Their music may be, may be instrumental, but they say a lot without using words, and they do sometimes because they have little interviews and snippets and samples, but for the most part, this is just instrumental, but it's very obvious what they're going for. They've always been a political group. There's no denying that. And on the back, it says, Devils own this town. The good ones get got evicted. It says right there. But yeah, this is probably their best, I'd say, since um, since Yankee. 
I wouldn't say it's as good as their first three releases. I mean, I'm not counting the all of Harry Amps or whatever that demo thing's called. Um, this is still really good. Definitely in my top ten of the year so far. I love it. It's very powerful message. Very beautiful music. Just kind of kind of features a bit of a similar sound to their previous album, but it's done a lot better. It's really really is a really great album. I love it a lot. Thank you guys for watching.